All right, we have a workout today. I haven't actually, I have been working out, I lied. I was gonna say I haven't been working out. That's not true. Last couple of days, I haven't been working out. But I haven't been filming as many of my workouts because I've been using a VMAX Pro in my training. And the VMAX Pro is an accelerometer. This thing measures how fast the bar is moving. And in order to use it, I need my phone. And guess what? I use my phone to film my workouts. So maybe some point I'll actually buy a camera to film my workouts. But right now, if I'm using my phone for my VMAX Pro, well, I won't be filming my workouts. But on top of that, I've been hooping again, and I have a little bit of a knee issue come up. Now, I have had, in the past, left knee surgery. It was a bipartite patella, and what they did took part of my kneecap out. They reattached the quad tendon. And because of that, every now and then I get, I don't know if it's, scar tissue or whatever it is goes kind of haywire in there and it gets really mad at me and I need to take some time off and I have not been taking time off and so next thing you know it doesn't like me as much. I try to train through it and then I get kind of well more pain and so I took a couple days off and felt pretty good today but that's why I'm starting with isometrics. Um, during this workout right isometrics have been shown to have some of that analgesic effect so it kind of reduces some of the pain in the area. My knee felt good today as a whole, but, you know, if I was going to work out, there is some theory behind and some evidence that the, the brain associates the movement with pain and you can remove that pain, then maybe some of that pain that you feel is nociception, so it doesn't actually exist. Who knows? Um, this is more just because I also wanted to warm up with these as well. You can see here I have the bands on this, and I like that taller position for these isometrics. I know some people like a longer lunge position, for me, it, I don't know. When I get in such a long lunge position, I feel like my weight isn't really loaded on the front leg at all. It just becomes this balancing act, essentially, of just stacking my uh, body in a way that can just hold a lot of load versus in this position here, I feel like my front leg's really working. So I like the bands as well because the bands add a little bit of feedback as you do this movement. So as I lift it, there is a little bit of tension, right? The tension from the bands. And so if I go down, like I, let's say I fatigue a little bit and I drop that weight, and I don't know, an inch or so, I can feel the reduction in band tension. Well, I wouldn't feel the reduction in mass, right? If it's 300 pounds, I'm not really gonna notice the difference, but I can feel the bands lighten up. And so the band tension gives me a little feedback as to what kind of tension I should be feeling the whole time. So here's that knee position again I wanted to show you all. Much more upright than most people do. For me, I like it. It feels good. It helps my knees. Whatever. If you like a lower position, do a lower position. I guess at this point of this exercise is for comfort, or I guess for the isometric aspect, and comfort's a big role in making sure you can do this movement, and that's great. Um, a side note, too, from the training. I got pretty tired lately. I don't know if it's a little bit of overtraining. Um, and it's just a, first off, it's a good reminder for me, my overtraining, a big teller of it is whether or not I'm able to get my heart rate up or whether or not I'm excited to lift. Literally, in one of my lifts last week, I just got up and left. And so I knew I was overtrained. I knew I was tired. Um, and so I took some days off. That's always a good reminder. But part of that might be nutrition as well. So I'm trying to eat some more carbs in my workouts because I've been working out with high anaerobic intensity. So, well, you need some carbs. Now, what's also kind of cool, by the way, here's an exercise I was messing with, and this is kind of a offloaded jump. So it, the chains are hanging in the air, and as you see, as I drop it, the weight is kind of nothing at the bottom because the chains obviously offload on the floor. And then I jump back up. Now, the chains actually never hit me. I was kind of concerned they're gonna smack me in the knee. They never did. Um, but maybe this is a better tool not to actually jump with, but just to work on that reversal position. So I did a couple sets of those. Then I ended with about six or seven sets of two to three reps of jumps with um, just uh, 65 pounds here. And so I actually had the VMAX Pro on this and I filmed the last set or second to last set here, but I did set a nice little PR today on, on peak velocity. So I try and track my peak velocity at different weights and that way I can stay competitive in my training. I do my best to keep my arm bend or my arm pull or whatever you want to call it equal each time. I know I can't be perfect, but as long as it's equal, I know I'm getting a good recording. Now this thing is the eccentric, so the eccentrics, People who make the K-Box, great machine, by the way. But this is their knee extension machine. So I have a giant flywheel on this. And this has been awesome for training. I'm really excited to get back into it now that my knee's feeling better. It's also great to help my knee because I can do some nice, slow, this 
it's not too much weight because it's inertia based, so it reduces the weight at that bottom position where I'm weakest. I can build some strength through that weak range of motion that's been kind of sore and tired. It's also great because it has that eccentric overload. And you can see there, I was pulling on the handle to add a little bit of concentric load. And it is not easy at all. It is awesome. And so I did a several sets of these, um, focusing on the eccentric control, getting down that knee to almost near uh, full 90 degrees. I didn't get totally there. But I mean, when I first started this a week ago with my knee, I could barely bend it. So I'm happy it's moving <laughs> again a lot better. It's something that happened with that kneecap was bothering it from all the jump training I was doing. And now here I was doing isometrics with it as well. So joint specific, I'm trying to work on that tissue there. I was poking my hand in my knee right there, you could see it. But about 45 seconds hold, I did both legs. All in all, awesome workout. This machine is so cool. Um, uh, I've been using it in my training. Again, I haven't used it enough. I really liked it when I used it, but then I ended up traveling and I didn't use it as much then, obviously because I was on the road. And then my knee issue came up because I was jumping too much, just kind of being whatever, careless to my body, not taking care of it like I should. So I did the other leg as well. I'm not sure if I'll get to it here. Yeah, there it is, other leg. Um, so I hope that makes sense, everyone. Just want to share the training update with y'all. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care. I appreciate y'all as always. Thanks. Bye.